Hi there, students. Ruritania. Do you know where Ruritania is? Okay, Ruritania is an invented country. It gives the idea of a quaint Central European country. Probably their main uh, product is agriculture. Yeah? Ruritania was actually invented by an author called Anthony Hope. And he wrote a book called The Prisoner of Zender in 1894 and Ruritania is the place where um, the events of this book take place but since then the name of name Ruritania to talk about a theoretical country an invented country has been used on various occasions um, I think that Ruritania gives maybe the idea of 19th century nationalism in Eastern or in Central Europe. Um, sometimes they have used Ruritania to, in international law to talk about a hypothetical country or the lawyers have used it as well to talk about somebody's nationality. This child has British nationality and also Ruritanian nationality at the same time. So the child could have nationality of another country. Um, I don't know if you've ever ring, read King Ottokar's set with Tintin. Well, clearly to me, this takes place in Ruritania. Yeah? Um, and that gives you an idea of what the uh, place is like. Ruritania probably has a king and a prime minister with a big sash and uh, a fiercely independent army and it has border disputes with its neighbours and definitely a secret police as well. Okay, also Ruritania is a good country to use if you're going to tell jokes that uh, clearly might be unsuitable if you used a real country. They might be insulting. So, for example, Isaac Asimov actually used the, uh, the country Ruritania in a joke. Um, why do Ruritanian dogs have flat faces? And the answer is because they're always chasing parked cars. So the Ruritanian dogs chase a parked car, they run, and their face goes smack into the back of the car. So they've got flat faces. If you use the name of a specific country with this, it would be uh, insulting, it would be stereotyping, it would be um, politically incorrect to use about a specific company, sorry, about a specific country, okay? So, Ruritania, it's used like that. So, if you ever need the name of a hypothetical country in one of your essays or when you're speaking or something like that, use Ruritania, yeah? It's, uh, many people have used it. I, think prime ministers have used it, judges have used it. As I said, Isaac Asimov has used it. Yeah, so Ruritania, okay? So yes, I'm talking to you, the viewer from Ruritania. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now, Ruritania.